God, it's so interesting hearing you guys relate game audio design to movie scoring. Yeah. Because the way I came to an understanding of what a video game was when I was a little kid was, you know, I'd see movies, I'd see TV shows on the TV, and I viewed video games as like playable movies. So mm -hmm. as far as like the audio composition went, it really seems pretty obvious, like the relationship between both of them. 100%. And what you have to also understand and uh, is that if you look at... <laughs> Nate's going to roll his eyes because I mean, I just spent a whole semester doing a class on the survey of music for, for visual media. <laughs> and part of that is to track the fact that when you start out, if you start out from the 19 or beginning of the 20th century, essentially, right? Um, you know, film comes in and it's a lot like video games when they first come in 50 years later that they're silent, right? Mm -hmm. There is no sound to these. And then um, the entire 20s and 30s is all about finding out, whoa, uh, technological advances in film. How does music relate to that? I mean, you get some weird stuff, right? You get stuff where, you know, piano players play to visuals on the screen. And the first time that there's recorded music, people freak out. They're like, where's, where's the orchestra? They actually are looking behind the screen to see where the players are because that's never happened before, right? Mm -hmm. And that's also the story. So then you get into animation, right? I mean, Walt Disney, it's kind of unbelievable, right? I mean, not only did he win more Oscars and Academy Awards than anybody else, but the technology and composers like Carl Stalling and um, Scott Bradley developed these incredible techniques for timing exactly to picture, and that animation, then you cut to games in the that start in the you know really start in the '40s, but the game industry really in the '70s, right? It's back to that really basic animation and technology building on itself and figuring out what it's going to be. So they are intimately tied together. I, in my mind now, and you guys, I would love to hear what you think about this. I, I, mostly see a future where films and games merge. Right? It's sort of like one vision different screens. Um, but, um, you know, when we look at AAA games, they really want it to be, like you're saying, sort of playable movies, right? Mm -hmm. And on the other side of that, you also have all these, you know, films that are, you know, trying and exploring different interactive, you know, formats and everything. So, you know, that mixture between, you know, what's happening with VR and AR now, and where's that line drawn between between film and games? Is that a, is it a game? Is it a film? It's interactive. What what do you guys think? Yeah, I mean, there's there's some games that are coming out these days where, and also some films too that you would see on Netflix where they're trying to like mm -hmm. Netflix will have this thing where they're trying to blend. Oh, you can make the decisions to change the story. Black Mirror. Right? Yeah, and then yeah. you have uh, other games where they people will describe them right more as interactive movies because that's like you know when you look at the heavy rain kinds of games or uh detroit become humans those kinds of games people see it like that's really like the very interactive movies but i just got done playing cyberpunk you know cyberpunk mm -hmm. 77 mm -hmm. and i was playing that game i was like this really does feel like especially like kind of a milestone in that i do feel like this is like a movie like a first person movie where i'm actually immersed and playing it in the story um, and so, like, you'll have those games, right, that are trying to mix them more like the Netflix and the other stuff. But then you have games that are the more mainstream, which are the cyberpunks and the, the RPGs, where it's like, they're getting closer and closer to being more and more cinematic. And so when people said, you know, 20 years ago, games are like interactive movies, it's like, well, now definitely they're getting really close to interactive movies, both in uh, your ability to have control over the story and also the visuals, too, in terms of how realistic they're yeah. getting. Thank you.